Welcome to this CUBE conversation. I'm Lisa Martin and I'm joined by two CUBE alumni. Please welcome Ehab Tarazi, Senior Vice President and CTO of Networking at Dell Technologies. Ehab, welcome back and welcome to the virtual CUBE. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited about this, thank you. We're going to have a good conversation because Vijay Ramachandran is also here, VP of Product Management at VMware. Vijay, welcome back. Thank you, Lisa, and happy to be here again. So we have a lot to unpack. We're on the uh, cusp of VMworld 2021. You guys are making an announcement. We want to talk about NVMe, why it's important. We'll break down the announcement. Go ahead and start. Uh, Ehab, we'll start with you. NVMe, why is it important? What is it? All that good stuff. Yeah, this is excellent topic. And this is really an important component of infrastructure these days. Um, modern applications are changing how they consume infrastructure. That's because the workloads are evolving. Some of them are AI type machine learning workload that need very high performance. There's also a continued trend by our customers to put workloads in public cloud and on-prem and create the hybrid multi-cloud model. Um, and also the new exciting stuff is all have to do with edge applications and distributing applications everywhere with automation and connectivity to where they need to be operating with, with you know, at on-premise. Uh, so long story short, these trends, these new applications, how the deployment models work is really driving the need for NVMe becoming the key technology for getting your data and storage. And with it, NVMe over fabric and connectivity is starting to become a very important topic. How do you have those discussions with customers in terms of their next steps, especially in the last year and a half, Ehab will stay with you, that we've seen such acceleration of digital transformation. What, what have those customer conversations, how have they changed? Uh, they, the, con the conversations have changed in two big ways. One, they really want to discuss outcomes. They know that we can bring, you know, industry leading infrastructure and tools and automation and software, but they really want to discuss outcomes. You know, how do you, how do I automate my you know, operations? How do I get to unpack the value of my data, no matter where the data resides and where it's coming? So, so that's the, big, the first big change is people have shifted completely to outcomes. And the second change is that now there's a really good discussion about performance and sustainability. How do I make sure that I'm meeting my sustainability goals? I'm meeting my performance goals instead of just discussing one piece of the solution. Got it, BJ, I want to bring you into the conversation now. Talk to me about NVMe from, and its evolution from VMware's perspective and some of the changes that you've seen in the last dynamic 18 months in the market. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for bringing in, Lisa. I, you know, these are actually, I think that we are living in interesting times now. What we are seeing from the VMware standpoint is that applications are evolving rapidly, they're demanding more performance, lower latencies, higher throughput, and these are modern applications. And NVMe, what we're seeing is that NVMe as a protocol is becoming the de facto sort of connectivity protocol for these applications. At the same time, what we're also seeing is that the infrastructure team at scale, when they deploy these applications at scale, they are moving towards a disaggregated architecture in the data center. And all the enterprises are moving towards this because they want to emulate you know, the public cloud. And so, you know, what's exciting about this announcement and sort of the, you know, the, uh, you know, what, what we're delivering together with Dell is that the combination of NVMe plus TCP IP provides, you know, sort of brings both these worlds together. It provides performance and latencies that these new applications, these new, these new modern applications need. At the same time, it provides it in a way that is disaggregated. And so, the combination of these two is, uh, you know, it's uh, it's industry changing in, in my opinion, and and we'll see that this this will become sort of the de facto way to deploy infrastructure in our data centers, and that's what we're seeing at VMware. Got it. Thank you. Let's go ahead and now unpack that announcement that VJ alluded to. Dell and VMware have announced an end-to-end -end NVMe TCP ecosystem solution. Back over to you, Ehab. Talk to me about this. What is it? What are some of the core components? And then we'll get into benefits. Yeah, perfect. So, so we both see NVMe over TCP IP as this new future storage connectivity. And it is a pivotal moment for the industry. There's always been debate about what protocols you use for connecting storage, for 
performance speed, but the time has come for NVMe over TCP IP to become the de facto future protocol. Uh, what we're announcing is, first of all, we're announcing a new uh, software product called SFSS from Dell, and that software product will automate the discovery, provisioning, and automate the setup of all the storage networking, how you connect all the hosts to the storage targets in a fully automated way. This is something that has been very complex, very hard to do manually and a one by one. So that's a whole new software product. Number two, we're announcing the availability of NVMe over TCP IP on our key Dell products, which is PowerStore, PowerEdge, which is our server product, and also PowerSwitch, which is our networking product. So the combination of the new software tool, SFSS, and all the availability of NVMe over TCP IP on our compute storage and networking, that gives customers the end-to-end -end ecosystem to be able to use it, along with the VMware capabilities that are essential for it. Yeah, and BJ, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to add to what you have just said. You know, of course, VMware is fully committed to bringing this uh, the adoption of NVMe, you know, along with our partnership with Dell, um, you know, to the market. And Dell has been our partnership with Dell has been instrumental in bringing this to the market. Now, you know, the cool thing about this particular uh, announcement and you know, and what to bring to the market is that the Smart Fabric uh, Services Manager is actually built into vCenter. So, you know, from a VMware standpoint, a vSphere administrator or a VMware administrator can so stay within their vCenter, um, you know, console and be able to manage, uh, provision, manage, and monitor, um, you know, NVMe or Fabric or uh, NVMe or TCP IP uh, connections. And so it sort of bridges the gap between storage and uh, and a VMware and a VMware world, if you will. And also the vSphere, the launch of uh, NVMe over TCP IP and vSphere 7 U3 is the last component of this announcement between putting SFSS inside vCenter, vSphere enhancements and the Dell products. The end result is the customers get this bump and new capability. However, they can continue to use all the management tools that they have today. So this is an easy automated lift and they get this new capability. An easy automated lift, though that, that sounds like magic to I'm sure a lot of folks' ears. Ehab, sticking with you, talk to me about this is a new direction for Dell and VMware. Talk to me a little bit about that and the impact. I, I think the new direction is that we have supported multiple protocols for connectivity, fiber channel, RDMA. But I think now as we go to this next uh, evolution and the fact that the world is going to multi-cloud and edge and distribution. The new direction here is we're putting a lot of investment and energy, both of us, into making NVMe over TCP IP automated and high performance. As Vijay said, we've been collaborating for over two years on this project jointly. That included new standards, new innovation, new software capabilities, new drivers, on all our products. So although we make it sound simple, this is a company-wide on both sides innovation effort to make this possible. Yeah. Absolutely, a big innovation effort. Vijay, go ahead. Now, I was going to say, you know, uh, just to second what you have said, we worked as one team, you know, between two companies, but we worked as one team and really brought some innovative uh, features and functionality out to the market. And, you know, truly excited to see this come to fruition. We've been working for two, on it for two years now. Two, so two years before the pandemic started, I'm curious to get both of your perspectives on how the tumults of the economy and the market of the last 18 months have influenced. We've seen so much acceleration in digital. How has this interesting time affected or, or accelerated what you're announcing or has it? I, I will start and Vijay, you know, whatever you'd like to add is that I think what we've seen during the pandemic is acceleration of adopting of a cloud operating model by using more of public cloud, but also using automation that we have built into our products, both VMware and Dell. And so this kind of automated type software tools falls completely in line with that. You know, customers more and more want the infrastructure automated and they want it cloud-like with 
as a service usage based type models and we're both invested into that area. Yeah, and and you know, Lisa, if, if anything at all, in the last uh, two years since the pandemic, what we are what we are what we're finding is that it's no longer a decision between is it on prem or public cloud, but it's actually an and decision. You know, it's it's on prem and public cloud, so it's truly becoming a multi cloud world. And so, to make this multi cloud, and then customers deploy the right applications and the right workload in the right place, depending on the needs. And so. In this multi-cloud world, having this automation and having a you know, you know a consistent way to uh, to manage infrastructure uh, in, our, in in an automated fashion across these multi-cloud deployments is becoming key. And so this is a you know a key component of that. Uh, what we did, what, what we're announcing is a key component of that kind of a model that customers are moving towards. Let's talk about the customer benefits. You both mentioned performance, sustainability low latency, high throughput. Give me examples of each of those of how this technology will deliver that for customers across industries. This is where we've really enjoyed working together and where Vijay and his team did fantastic work to test uh, the value of having this partnership is the end-to-end -end customer sees the performance and benefit from the eyes of using both the software stack from Dell and VMware, as well as the infrastructure below it. And we've been able to jointly test what the customer will see. And what we have seen, which I have to say was a surprise to us. We expected benefits, but it even, it was one of those aha moment. Oh my God, this is, we thought it was good, but it turned out to be even better. So on the performance side, it's about two and a half to three times the performance of iSCSI, which is the other technology we would compare this to. And on the latency side, it's 70% less, less latency and uses even less capacity in terms of CPU. We have not seen that kind of performance improvement from a protocol for a very long time. Changing networking protocols usually gives you some little benefit, but not this kind of a step function of performance. So I think the customers will be very excited about this. Those are some submit numbers. VJ, go ahead, extend on to that. No, I, you know, uh, I have nothing more to add because you know we have been extremely encouraged by the performance numbers that uh, you know that that we saw, and uh, you know, and and, and here was right. We actually it exceeded our, expect our expectations, right? And we knew that NVMe was the was the right way to sort of uh, you know deliver performance, but uh, you know to see this kind of results in real world is uh, is very encouraging. And you guys said there are several sessions at VMworld that are covering this topic. I'd like to get both of your perspectives on some of the sessions that you're presenting in and, and some of the key takeaways that the audience can learn. Ehab, we'll start with you. Yeah, I, I mean, we're starting with a session to explain the overall strategy and we're going to show demos exactly how would you use uh, VMware software and Dell SFSS to configure, implement, how does that compare to the customer experience today? That's going to be an exciting session between myself and Paul Turner who's the VP of product also at VMware. Um, I think that that kind of with these visual demos, people will see how fast automated that is, which is really the message here. Then we have multiple sessions from our key technical experts. We're going to go through a deep technology review of the stack and how to do it and the functionality. Yeah, and Lisa, on uh, on the VMware side, obviously we have a number of sessions on various topics, uh, you know, on storage. The one that I want to call out is uh, there's a session that I'm doing with, um, with Mark Fleischman, who's a CTO for storage and for cloud platform, really. And we are uh, discussing um, VMware's vision and strategy for storage and availability. And NVMe is certainly a key part of that. But as we just uh, talked earlier, the whole automation and the multi-cloud aspect of um, of deployment is, is critical. So we, we, you know, so we're sharing what how we are approaching this whole multi-cloud world um, in this, you know, with storage and availability innovation. So um, I'm really excited about that. So a lot of news coming out on the NVMe over TCP/IP front. Talked about the collaboration, the acceleration of that, the directional shift. In terms of go-to-market and availability, when, where can existing customers go to learn more information? What's the joint GTM that Dell and VMware have? Uh, I think Vijay, you want to start on vSphere and I'll add or? 
No, go for it, Ikli. Yeah. Okay, so all the products we talked about today from vSphere 7. U3, Power Store, Power Edge, all of them will be available starting immediately after VMworld. And between October and November, everything we talked about will be available. And during VMworld, we will announce how customers can use it, download it, buy it. As we said before, because they are, SFSS is implemented into vCenter, this will be a familiar way for customers to use it, download it and implement it. And a new release of vSphere is something customers are used to. We have many customers on Power Store, so they will be getting a new software release and update with the new functionality. We, we do plan to create developer experience modules, sandboxes for people to play with. We'll make more announcements on that in the future. Yeah, and this, you know, as you have said, this functionality is built into, you know, vSphere and vCenter as well. And so the next release, next release of vSphere will have this functionality. And you'll see a lot of noise about this at, uh, at VMworld. That's sort of our coming out party. Excellent. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a good coming up party with a lot of information to come around the VMworld timeframe, some great education and deep technical dives that you guys and your teams will be providing to customers in all industries, which I'm sure they will be very much appreciative of. I appreciate both of you coming on, sharing with me the news, what's exciting about this, the impact it's going to make. And we look forward to hearing some of the news as it gets rolled out. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. Great to, great to have you guys. For Ehab Tarazi and Vijay Ramachandran, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching a CUBE Conversation.